An aircraft carrier is a symbol of a country's strength. Aircraft carriers play a crucial role in naval warfare, serving as mobile airbases that can project power across vast distances. With their ability to launch and recover aircraft, these carriers provide a strategic advantage by enabling rapid response and flexible operations in various maritime environments. It is important to note that the United Kingdom has a long history of utilizing aircraft carriers as essential components of its naval forces. The development and deployment of these carriers have played a crucial role in enhancing the UK's maritime capabilities and projecting its power globally. The Royal Navy currently operates 69 ships in active service as of 2023. There are 10 nuclear-powered submarines, 4 ballistic missile submarines and 6 fleet submarines, and 21 large surface combatants, 2 aircraft carriers, 6 destroyers, 11 frigates, and 2 amphibious transport docks. There are also 26 patrol ships, 2 survey ships, an icebreaker, and the historic battleship Victory in the Navy's arsenal. So, Will the UK build a new third aircraft carrier to augment the Royal Navy's might? Indeed, to build a new aircraft carrier requires quite a long time to complete. Besides that, it also requires a prohibitive cost. This may be one of the reasons why only a few countries have aircraft carriers. The US currently has the most aircraft carriers, followed by China, UK, and India. However, several countries are now planning new aircraft carriers. The first aircraft carrier developed by the UK was HMS Hermes, commissioned in 1924. HMS Hermes was a light aircraft carrier with a displacement of around 10,850 tons and a length of approximately 182 meters. It had a maximum speed of 25 knots and could carry up to 20 aircraft. HMS Hermes played a significant role in various conflicts, including World War II and the Falklands War. It served as a crucial platform for launching airstrikes and providing support to ground forces. Despite being decommissioned in 1984, HMS Hermes left a lasting legacy as the first step in the UK's journey towards developing advanced aircraft carriers. Since then, the UK has continued to invest in constructing and modernizing aircraft carriers, with notable examples including HMS Ark Royal and HMS Invincible. The latest addition to the UK's fleet is the Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carrier, with HMS Queen Elizabeth being the largest and most advanced carrier to date. These ships, which serve as the hubs of the carrier strike groups for the Royal Navy, can launch a wide variety of aircraft, such as the cutting-edge F-35B, in addition to helicopters such as Merlins and Wildcats. The F-35B is a fighter jet capable of short takeoff and vertical landing, meaning it can take off from and land on the carrier without needing a long runway. In addition, the F-35B is the world's most advanced fifth-generation aircraft. It provides the United Kingdom with significant operational flexibility and range.
The Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers are able to provide support for a diverse array of operations, ranging from humanitarian help and disaster relief to combat missions and deterrence. The Queen Elizabeth class is the Royal Navy's most advanced supercarrier ever built. So, if the Royal Navy is going to build a third aircraft carrier, will it be more significant than the Queen Elizabeth class, or will it be smaller? <laughs> 